And now, the Associate in Arts degree is awarded to a graduate of the first class of State College of Florida Collegiate School, Lisa Marie. Wow, I did it. Seems like just yesterday I was a kid at SCF Collegiate School. It was so different from my old school. Colorful and fun with interesting, cool things everywhere you look. All those open spaces gave me a real sense of freedom. The students were happy to be there and nobody looked bored. And I made new friends right away. Everybody was so friendly. The teachers even called themselves coaches. I remember when the head of school welcomed my parents and me. She smiled and shook my hand, and I just knew SCF Collegiate School was where I belonged. Even though this is a first of its kind in the United States, and the first model on a college campus starting with sixth grade run by the college itself, there's still some underlying research out there that talks about capturing students at the sixth grade level and what we can do to help them become achievers for a lifetime. And we did our research and found out that there was a school in Sweden that by all standards was the best international school. So we went to Sweden to find out how they did it, what they did, and they were open and shared that with us. And we brought back that model to start the State College of Florida uh, Collegiate School. When you walk into our collegiate school, the first thing you see is the open atmosphere. The open atmosphere really suggests to you that every space in the school is a learning space. While there are no traditional classrooms with doors that close, with the uh, seats that are in rows within a, in a school, you can see where a student can come, listen to some instruction, but then go about the school and use their technology to learn and do either independent work or group think in our think tanks or even in larger group areas. I think the thing that we hear most from people who come and tour the, the school itself is the idea that every student's engaged. On different levels, they are engaged. There's no student who's wandering. There's no student whose mind is going off into other directions. They're all applying and working hard to succeed and work at their goals. It was easy to learn at SCF Collegiate School because it was such a laid back place. When we finished our work, we could have independent study time in comfy bean bags. Our teachers would check on how we were doing while we got to kick back. Start your chapter four assignment, Lisa. Every day there was something new to learn or a new way of looking at a topic. Most days started in the big learning space where we said the pledge, checked in on news from around the world, and took turns giving the weather report using the big Prometheum board, just like on TV. There's nothing traditional about this school. It evolves, it turns on a dime, it works with the students and whatever their needs happen to be, and you have to have a unique teacher to be able to do this. The teachers that we brought in are fabulous. They all have completely different qualities from each other and bringing those qualities together when they collaborate. They share information, they make sure that the students are not seeing the same thing twice. Um, but at the same time, they're all making sure that they share knowledge with each other. And we're very pleased with the, the knowledge and the skills that our teachers bring forward. And they are innovative, creative, and they only set the, the base for our school to continue to launch off into the future. The teachers make a point to sit down with the students every day. There's an hour where there's a coaching element to our classrooms. And in this coaching element, the students are getting not just academic tutoring, but also social tutoring to make sure that they're reaching their goals, to follow up with what they're doing, to look and see if there's any other questions that they have about not just what they're studying, but about life because they're also growing. Our teachers found lots of creative ways to keep us moving, like dance exercise. The school called it a wellness initiative, but we just called it fun. It was a real workout, and mom and dad cracked up when I showed them my new moves. I asked you to write down some of your goals. Can I see them? My academic coach met with me regularly to see if I was staying on track. My goals didn't have to be the same as my friends' goals. Our coaches helped us focus and held us responsible. Most of all, they helped us understand that we would be letting ourselves down if we didn't follow through. Once you know how to learn, then you can really set any goal that you want. And giving the students that knowledge, that fact that they can really do anything, and all they need is a process. All they need to know is to take this material and bundle it in a manner to get them to that goal. They can do anything. Ah, uh, the think tank. 
My best study friends and I would go over our group project and catch up with each other. Some of us were better in algebra and some better in science or reading, so we helped each other out. My friends taught me a lot, and I'm pretty sure they would say they learned a few things from me too. But another component had to be the cutting edge technology. Apple came forward and we worked with them to be sure that every student in the school has an iPad. One of the best things about going to SCF Collegiate School was getting to use iPads and Mac laptops every day. Having the newest technology literally at my fingertips meant that I could get instant information. Plus, an iPad is a lot lighter to carry around than a backpack full of heavy books. Our teachers had a lot of fun creating lesson plans that made subjects come alive, especially using interactive technology. I remember how excited our class was the day a technology hookup made it possible for us to ask the president of NASA questions about space travel. One of the priorities that we have at the Collegiate School is to make sure the students have connected their knowledge to everything else around them, both globally and at home. It's interesting how the parents interact now with their, their child as well as with the school itself. Because of the high use of technology, a student is learning through a portal where all their activities are placed in this portal where they access daily either on an iPad or MacBook. What that does is allow them to not only look at their goals, but also see their successes. But the unique part of this is not only the student has access, but the parents have access as well, along with the teacher slash coach. Like a lot of students in my school, I'll be the first in my family to get a bachelor's degree. That means a whole lot to my mom and dad because they didn't have that opportunity. 64% of our students are first generation, meaning neither parent has a baccalaureate degree, by giving them the sight, the help, and the opportunity to succeed not only with a high school diploma, but a college diploma as well. They'll be the first in their family to receive a degree. Offering an AA degree upon graduation with their high school diploma gives them a head start with a two-year degree. But on top of that, Florida Gulf Coast University came in and offered, starting in 2014 with our first graduating class, a baccalaureate scholarship of up to 70 hours for them to continue their work free of charge, tuition and fees at Florida Gulf Coast University. What a great opportunity. It's a win for the taxpayers of the state because we're giving eight years of education and six. So that's saving tremendous uh, value to the taxpayer. It's a win for the parents because their child's getting a free quality college education. And it's a win for our college because we are producing outstanding quality students. I will always be grateful for my education from State College of Florida Collegiate School.